Welcome to the second part of the tutorial series. This time we'll be weight painting the model of the pike to our newly created skeleton. So first, uh, first thing we want to do is to remove any old weight painting that the model may still have because this was imported from an existing NIF file, so it has weight painting those vertex groups and um, we select the model and um, down here we press delete many times until all vertex groups are gone. And now with the model selected we press the shift key and then select the skeleton 2 and then press Ctrl P, make parent to armature and name groups. And now when we select the model we have clear vertex groups for all our um, new bones that for the skeleton that we've just created. Okay, so um, first of all we select the skeleton and switch to pose mode and now we select the model and switch to weight only. Uh, one more thing, um, it saves a lot of work if you um, before you start weight painting, if you um, remove one side of the model, if you haven't already done so. So go into edit mode and uh, front view and then using B for border select, um, remove the right half of the model. And now you have only one half. Make sure to keep everything that's in the middle, that's important. And then add a modifier, mirror, and move it up. And also remove this armature modifier. We don't need that one because we have this one here. This is uh, another kind of armature modifier. And now Oh, we can make this one real and then move it down and now it's all right. Okay, so um, now we're ready to start weight painting. So go to weight paint mode of the model and select a node at the end. For example, T2. Oh, another thing. Our skeleton has um, envelopes and we don't want it because it's not supported. Because um, that's, um, that generates um, kind of a rig based on distance from the nodes, but we don't want it. We want um, to specify the impact of each node manually. So we go to weight painting mode and select each node. Um, we can turn on wire and we remove soft and set to one to one and now start painting. So one means uh, full impact and zero means no impact, blue is blue means zero and one is red. So we start painting. As you see it becomes red and we rotate this node. It moves Ooh, there's still something wrong. That's not how it should be. Um, uh, 
Let me think for a second. Why is this happening? This seems to be caused by envelopes, but apparently it isn't because it's still there when I turn it off and on. Hmm. Very strange. Very strange. Oops. Uh, ah, here it is. So remove envelopes from here from the modifier and now yeah now it gives the result that we want because only what was painted moves we select this one nothing moves so um first of all you paint really roughly only with full power and only where it really belongs so you go here give it a bit here and you can do some overlapping so later this will interpolate better if you overlap it so like this row um, is shared between the spine 4 node and the spine 5 node so you can see it already interpolates a bit and we can increase that later on. Um, now the fins, the fins should not have any impact on on the the body. Only the fins themselves, because when you watch any fish um, and it moves its fins, the body never moves along. But um, the the fin, the tip moves most with the fin, so we have some interpolation here. We make um, the, the part of the body um, extend, you know, bleed into the fin range. So when we rotate this, the top rotates most, the middle rotates a bit, and um, the base of the fin doesn't rotate at all. And same for the ventral fin down here. Also make sure the spine bleeds into it. Okay, uh, spine 3, very quick. And spine this is kind of a drawing error, you know, you don't see the vertical lines here, but, um, which is kind of annoying, but you can't really help it. Okay, also make sure to get the bleeding effect here, um, here too. And now, you only paint the left fins and the right fins, now if you move this, the right fins are automatically moving, they they get their weight paints accordingly because of this modifier setup right here. Because first we have a mirror modifier which mirrors the model and then uh, the armature um, has effect on the mirrored model. So on um, so you know the um, the model is mirrored first, and thus the vertex group is mirrored, and only then um, the pose has any effect on it. And that's why you should 
uh, rearrange your modifiers in this way and only in this way. It's pretty useful. So, um, let's find one. And now it will get a bit tricky with those uh, gills because um, they should also move but we'll see how we'll tackle that later and yeah, that's looking good Now, when it comes to the, to the head, you've got to be careful so you don't cause any distortions. Um, often it helps to tap into edit mode and to select the vertices um, manually. First of all, with control and then with right clicking and shift keeping shift pressed and right clicking and then you can select vertice, uh, vertex per vertex and this gives you total control and I always use this when it has to be exact and then make sure your weight value is 1 and then Press assign and that saves it. And now, if you go back to weight paint mode, go back to weight paint mode. Why doesn't it work? Now, um, you see the head is um, painted nicely and nothing of the jaw is painted, just the way we want it to be. And same procedure here. Uh, we select the draw in a uh, weight paint mode, draw uh, the draw node, and tap to edit mode, and then select it roughly, then select those border vertices manually. Yeah, that's looking good, and assign them. We can test. Oh, forgot one. This one. Sign. Oh, looking good. Okay. And um, this has to move along. Probably. Um, okay. Um. I think those fins should rather be a uh, child of the head because it moves, uh, would move better. And testing it. Yeah, that's better. So changing the weight around a bit. So now they're attached to the head node instead of the spine node. So we remove its influence from here and I think this animates better yeah now we give it a okay um so now we've got we can test if we've got everything um weight painted and we do have that because if we missed um a vertex we would have now if we move it around in pose mode we would get a spike pointing towards its original position you've probably noticed that if you ever try to wait paint something okay so now it's time to improve um this weight painting and as you can see it's really rough and gives uh, sharp edges and we don't want that so we go to weight painting mode and now we have two options first of all we could use the blur tool 
Um, what it does is it interpolates the um, the weights menu um, automatically, and as you can see, you get nice gradients, but it's not all too accurate. Um, for example, if you use this on cylinders like this body, you can get irregular movements, and we don't really want that, so we undo it and do it manually. And then we turn back to mix and select a one quarter for the weight and keep the opacity at one. And now we paint some bleeding again of the weight painting groups. So this one bleeds a bit into the spine range and also into the spine 2 range and also fit onto the fins uh, and same here this one bleeds a bit here and now it's already pretty good and you have to consider um, this is relatively low poly because a pike doesn't bend its body much, you know. It it almost always um, keeps its body still. Only the fins are moving, so we don't have to um, make it really, really accurate here. Uh, this one was too long, so now I'm replacing it. And uh, well, maybe not. Can also use a half for this one. No, it, it has to be full because of the fin. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay, so it's all right like that. And we can give it a half, one a uh, quarter here and quarter there, quarter there, and there. Always important that you don't miss those hidden places like this one. Uh, you've always got to check because otherwise you you get um, some distortions. Okay, so now also bleed into the fins like this, and you can also use the blur tool again so you get a bit better interpolation on the fins, like this, and turn back to mix, um, here, again, blur, and now we can blur the whole thing a bit, so it becomes really smooth, smooth gradient, and that's how how we want it because this makes um, this makes it move more naturally. So here, I'm replacing it with half value, and now you can see it from the top. If you rotate it, you get a pretty nice result. We can also turn on texture mode and get out of the weight painting mode and to test this. And now this is looking pretty good. Okay. Okay, um get out of the texture mode again because it makes it harder to see the weight painting and back to weight painting and also um make the half Weights down there should also be all right. Uh, same procedure here, and some bleeding there, like this, 
and this bit down here and blur it again uh, that looks all right okay okay now if we take this one yeah we can use the blur tool here blur it a bit okay that's looking pretty good mm, nicely blurred and same for the lower lobe of the fin down here okay and we can test it yeah it's looking pretty good pretty good mm, okay so let's go through them all to see if we've missed anything on the spine area okay um, this part could use some fixing up a bit like this and like that so it blends nicely and also down here and there and now also here's some bleeding okay and of course the jaw joints shouldn't be that harsh so we also blur it a bit uh, actually quite a lot okay and that's looking pretty good and also blur the draw weights a bit okay looking good oh yeah we can make sure this is a bit interplayed because uh, when you watch the fish this kind of um, lip like structure moves down a bit when the jaw is opened so we can replicate this by blurring it a little and now you can see it moves down okay and also a bit of blur, blur here and there and now we're good to go yeah that looks good um, fins uh, yeah, it looks all right. I think we can keep them like like that, and probably we could do kind of a test pose, and then we can see if our rig, or rather our weight painting, is as you should say often you say rig but in fact you mean the weight painting folks remember that um, I think it's good to go now so it's more or less ready for animating yeah. quick test pose and then turn it to texture to see if we've got stretches anywhere because then we've got to go back and edit it again. Oh, forgot the gills. Right. Um. So mix one and paint a bit here and there. Everything and 
test it. Okay, since those nodes don't really move much, they don't have a huge effect, so we don't have to be all that um, careful here with weight painting because um, the effect is very small, so any mistake is also very small. And yeah, that looks good. Mm, yeah. Okay. So let's turn to texture view and remove the wire. Oh, and also another trick um, turn to edit mode and select all faces and go to texture face and then click two side and clip alpha and copy and copy now you see you can see all those fins and alphas okay so there's one thing I don't really like and that's those fins but um, it looks like they have to be subdivided a bit because that's not really a weight painting floor, but simply too too few um, vertices to work with. So, oh yeah, and I also got to add some teeth now. Probably won't get around that. Well, um, yeah, now it's pretty much good to go for animating or adding constraints and we'll see how to do that in the next tutorial. See you!